Welcome to The Advocate, where thought-provoking topics are discussed with no holds barred here on Plus TV Africa. We basically call a spade by its name. Today, I'm advocating for us to be better citizens and better persons for ourselves and the society. Oluwa Kayode says, we do not want old and sick leaders anymore as the election window opens, but the decisions lie with us. Ruth is asking if we are wiser now going into the 2023 elections. And finally, should we be grateful that the Twitter ban has been lifted? Victor is asking today. Sit back and after this break, we'll be here to dissect it all. Stay with us. The year before the elections become better. So as we all know, this year 2022 is fraught with so many thoughts and uncertainty. But as is customary with me, I'm an incurable optimist and a firm believer in the phrase, live while you yet live. So this year before the elections, and this being my first appearance this year on The Advocate, I'm here to give us some ginger for the year. I'm advocating for you to become a better citizen, a better Nigerian, a better person, because how do we create a better society when we can't create a better person? What can we do in the kind of country we live in where there's so much we don't have control over? So here's me giving us some life hacks for rules of success. And I'll start with number one, change your mindset. Monitor your words and your thoughts carefully. Clearly letting them into your mind, you are becoming the master of your future. Number two, very simple, dream big. Imagine who you could be, what you could have or do. Then set goals clear, write them down, and make a detailed plan of action. Number three, and I like this one, make your decision to become rich, like it's all about the chat. Make it, take control of your financial future, determine how much you want to earn, and save exactly. Include this amount into your goals and think about them all the time. You need it in Nigeria. Number four, manage your life. You need to take responsibility for every single thing that happens in your life. Do not look for excuses. Do not blame anyone, not even the government. And I say become the master of your own destiny. Number five, and please, dear Nigerian, take this seriously. Do your job superbly. Set a goal to do your job in the best possible way. Identify the key skills you need to master and then use them in your work. Improve your professional level every day. And this is so important, especially if you plan to jack my... Number six, put people on the first place. Create and maintain stable relationships based on trust with the most important people in your line of business constantly. And also regularly expand the range of your contacts. This is so important. Cannot be underestimated in this 2022 before election. Number seven, give freedom to your mental strength. Your ability to generate new ideas has no limit. So in a digital age, therefore, your future is also not limited by anything. I want you to also take number eight. Think from a position of opportunity. There's so much opportunity that's going to happen in Nigeria to now. Learn to see potential benefits in everything that happens around you. You can develop such thinking by constant repetition. Number nine, create your own future. The most successful people carefully plan their lives in advance. As a result, they think more fruitfully and make the best decisions. We all create ourselves. We all need to work constantly on ourselves. Raise the bar for self-improvement. -improve Only systematic and active actions lead to success. And I would say, at the end of the day, no one is exactly sure what the year is really bringing. And the only place you may have some control is over yourself. So I'm saying today, choose to become a better citizen and a better person. You may just be creating a chain of events that can create a better society. Happy elections ahead of all of us. Happy election. Well, for me, uh, looking at all that you've said, the summary to it all is take charge of your life. Exactly. Be responsible. That's and it. I'm sorry to say, or well, let me just ask rather than say emphatically, <laughs> how responsible are we as individuals, Nigerians, and how much charge are we taking of our life? We, it's easier for us to blame the easiest culprit, which is the government, for everything that happens to us. Even when uh, we wake up, we know that there's always traffic. 
in our homes, on our roads, and uh, it will take us two hours with traffic to get to wherever we are going. Mm -hmm. We wake up one hour to time, we get to work, and we blame government. And well. the, the thing is, we know that, okay, this is the current state in which we are. It's like a um, someone who, maybe a leper or uh, someone who doesn't have legs, you know, blaming, complaining every time when you already know your condition. There's a Yoruba adage that says, uh, uh, what's that Yoruba adage again? That says, Ogun, something about... Okay, Ogun, I said, like Ogun, like <laughs> for one, well, one even for one about cannot kill a, a, a lame man a because man. Yes, have enough time to repair. Yes. Time. So I think what you're saying, which I agree with totally, is that yes, there's inconsistency, there's failure, there is everything going wrong with government. Yes, that is the fact. But we've known this for many years now. We need to look for a way to manage it and get ourselves out of it. You know, funny enough, this just reminds me of the fact that just before we started, I said, this year is my year of violence. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know said it. Honestly, the truth is that, I would like to, you know how every day, everywhere, I was, I've been inundated. I think a lot of us, there's been so much fear and anxiety mm -hmm. and so much that we don't know about. And mm -hmm. then, you know, the first thing that hit us in January was the election calendar. That's and it's it. February 2023. Mm -hmm. And I think there's some things that even come up this year. And so I kept on asking myself that, what are we actually going to do? What is my own role in this whole space? Mm. And I decided that I was not going to be one of those people that are going to sit down and continue to propagate that fear. I don't care how it is. That's so it. there's going to be solutions to whatever it is that is ailing us as mm -hmm. a people. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a way. And maybe because I do a lot of other things that look at how people are going to even leave the country. Yeah. And I discovered daily that even Jack Mine is not exactly a solution without not proper planning. Not so why are we going to sit down here talking about how it's not working? And even in yeah. the process of Jack Mine, a lot of people are wasting away because they are planning to Jack Mine. But in the They're meantime, not doing, yeah. you, not doing doing anything. Not doing you wake anything, up, so you're sleep, blame away. government, and you exactly. get there, and you have to start struggling exactly. and realize it's not as rosy as you think I mean, it is. Just to add on that line of thought, I, if you want to actually jackpot, you must actually be equipped, like she mentioned. Yeah. You must be equipped. Otherwise, you will still live the same life. Even yeah. worse. Even because worse. Because really someone said, in, someone said a lizard in Nigeria is still going to be a lizard <laughs> in, <laughs> <laughs> in Canada. It's not going to be an alligator, I mean, so, so it has changed. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, because, I mean, on that, on that issue, I remember that there's a tweet that was a particular troll that was on Instagram, I think by one of these very popular women. And then the guy was talking about how he now said talking about how you need your credit rating, you need your, and he put it down. I saw seven pages. I said, my goodness, you mean it is this difficult? Yeah, and some people don't realize that you are paying for air, light, everything. Every single and people thing. don't, so the system works, but the system only works because people, people are, are paying. paying. That so that's why taxes are very high. And it high. compels you to be responsible. Responsible, exactly. <laughs> to when you not naturally It's a culture, it's a culture that you don't, and not naturally. So it mm -hmm. just means that if you're a more responsible person in Nigeria, you have a better chance of living a better that's life. That's it. So that's just it. Through that, but I think to add to what you said, I was thinking maybe if I was going to add number 10, it would be be accountable. So if you have great accountability partners, people yeah. that could help you with, especially mm. in this new year, you're likely going to do better than you did last year. Mm. True. True. I mean, yeah, we can all be here just <laughs> so how easy it is. And someone is somewhere at um, a on the bridge and he's just wondering about what am I going to eat tonight? You know, from a different perspective here, yeah, mm. I think it's also important that we hold this accountable. Yeah, Ruth, um, people are the hem of affairs, right? These nine things, as you said, mm -hmm. you know, someone that is in government should be thinking about it because if they were thinking about it, then we'd have good roads and all of these Very things. True. Because if you think about it, I mean, I could dream big mm -hmm. because I'm not worried about mm -hmm. food, I'm not worried about clothing, I can buy what I want. It's like, they can't dream big. So, I mean, I, I on the side of the other divide, the it's, it's also important that if the government does what they should do, people that, that, are, that are trying to feed tonight will not be thinking about that. You know, and it's a much slow hierarchy of needs. Hierarchy and, of needs you know, yes. I can't think about, you know, um, self-actualization. So, so this is me just, this is me just <laughs> fighting for those group of people <laughs> and saying you that to to everybody has to be held I'm going to say to Victor, you know one thing I've seen, I mean, I don't know what you're going to say, but one thing I've seen is that in every climb in different societies, Poverty or gaps or needs create different reactions. You right. either become bowed down or that anger gets you to think of how Thank much you. better you can That's be. So honest. that person at Ojo Legba actually can decide that, you know what, this is what I, this situation mm -hmm. here, what kind of person do I want to be? Do I want to get equipped enough yeah. to get into governance or something? We don't, we don't actually look at a systemic way of changing and, governance. And even in addition to that, that person at Ojo Legba needs to be made to know that so many people have stayed under in, in Ojo Legba. Yes. Over the years, 
and they've come out. So what yes. did they do? Exactly. That's why we need inspiration. And that's why, you see, I always tell people that governments have failed. Why, just, why have they failed? No, hold on. Government it's almost like no, it's on, wait, wait, why would they, they, you failed. accept that? No, it's not. It's not. I refuse, refuse to accept that. So the bottom line. Why can't you okay, make things you work? Refuse to accept that. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing about this? No, I'm doing something for my space. I'm exactly. Doing that. No, and that's the problem. No, no. You hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Some people, you know. Some people are helplessly helpless. No, no, no. I refuse to agree. No, 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 no. I am in this space. No, 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 no. I hear what you're saying. It's not possible. You might have discovered never, yourself. Never. But anyway, never. we can go on and on. I mean, never. <laughs> I don't think we ever agree. <laughs> anyway, I mean, that's quite an interesting banter that we had there. Oluwa Kayode is next. Stay with us. We don't want old, sick leaders. Hmm. The political transfer season, like football, is open. And as expected, many names and faces are popping up. There's realigning of interest and highly irrelevant lots, who I call the lepers of politics, are stepping into the game. They have one goal, cause chaos, rancor, and heightened uncertainties. They know they cannot win an election, even in their homes their villages, but they are determined to make themselves relevant by saying whatever comes to mind. Very soon, social media will be agog with photo ops of politicians buying akara beans and bread by the roadside, even buns. Parties are looking for the strongest yet vulnerable link in other parties who they can poach. Politicians have started discrediting themselves. And by July, full-scale tribal and religious affronts will have kicked in. Politicians amongst themselves know who the next favorite or most qualified candidate is. Yet, they do all this just to remain relevant and earn a sit-down peace talk, which will lead to a political appointment after elections 2023. In all this, all you see are politicians attempting to make a way where there has been no way. Politicians put their best foot forward, swimming against the tides. Where are, where are the citizens who are affected by the decisions of these politicians? We do not appear anywhere. We wait for the most emotionally relevant news, reports and lash on it. We walk around town accusing every politician Yet, we are not ready to recommend a politician of choice, neither are we willing to join a party. Until December, the song on our lips was direct primaries, direct primaries. A call that made politicians laugh because for direct primaries to be effective, you need to join a party. And as you already know, we are unwilling to join any party. They are all evil. The people have the right to demand for a particular candidate, but we are silent on this. We prefer to ridicule every single candidate that is presented. Politicians have a plan for 2023. They fight now and decamp by November. We, the people, do we have a plan? We're comfortable following the same politicians that we call corrupt insincere and tribal bigots we're comfortable in our one corner one corner saying you know go better for this country <laughs> when in reality what you are saying is you know go better for you and i the individuals in it nigerians succeed in business because we understand that the outcome of every business endeavor has a direct effect on us if only we understand that the outcome of any political activity has a bigger direct impact on us, we would be more participatory in elections. For 2023, we need to study and understand politics. Join a party, get your PVC, look beyond tribe and religion, call out your family member and tribesman that is working against the nation. The more disunited you are, the weaker you are. The weaker you are, 
the stronger the politicians become. You shout you don't want old Sikh leaders, yet our weakness is equivalent to the weakness of the Sikh leaders we are calling out. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless the people of Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I think uh, hmm, that, 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 I'm actually trying to think of what I know what to say. <laughs> and my mind is Digested going to, it. My, my, yes, my mind is going to the fact that what you're saying directly actually links to what I was trying to get at, even exactly. though I started from a point of motivation or inspiration. Yes. Or like yes. for me, I'm maybe because I'm a lawyer, I'm so detailed about breaking it down. Mm. I hate for people to tell me, oh yeah, get up and do something. I want you to tell me, please, getting up means you get you lift yourself. Yeah. So I do a systemic break it mm -hmm. down. Now, how do we as a people follow these instructions? Plan it, get our PVC, when we don't even know exactly what we want to be. When we're bowed down with thoughts of a person is helplessly helpless. <laughs> no, that's the way we are. Yeah. No, we try not to take a job, but the mm -hmm. truth is that a lot of us really feel helpless we're about too broken we're too broken to see we're the too, what do you the number one was change your mindset if we're going to actually be functional mm. effective or create any change politically or otherwise we have got to be resilient and strong L Let that's me. what the politicians know there's that's a strategy it. to the madness every politician that is doing something and succeeding i admire their guts i yeah. admire the drive i sit and i look at i tell myself that even if you are if you do anything successfully good or bad mm -hmm. it takes a lot and so maybe that is something that yeah. we as and citizens need, need to, to adopt and, and see. What, see. You, what you're saying about the politician, I also program on radio and behind the scenes talks are very detailed. There are things that you, you should record and play. Now, one of the politicians told me something. He said, listen, Nigerians never suffer. That's it. He said, because until we get to a stage where it is unbearable, things will not change. You know why? He said, because right now, he as a person sees people who are qualified citizens and is encouraging them come into the fold so he can help people like us who want to make an impact. And they tell you, no, I don't have interest in politics. He said it's because they still have something to eat. Mm -hmm. when, it become, when it hits so hard that you know you don't have a choice, you will know that you need to get into politics for you to survive. And you see, we th there is so much, again, like you're saying, I blame those that call themselves the elites, not necessarily because of their status, but uh, how enlightened they are. Because you see, we, we mislead the general public, the people under the bridge, like, uh, you, you, like you rightly said. Why do I say that? Now, there's this talk about constitution, throw the constitution away. But the truth of the matter is that the constitution cannot be thrown away. What you do generally, globally, is to amend. Mm -hmm. You can get into parliament and decide that A, B, C, D, E, F, G, we don't want it. Mm. And that is what you call the people having a say mm. in the constitution. Right now, constitution amendment is ongoing. Mm. Nobody is talking about it. True. No single person. Then we come back in 2024, because for, from now to 2023, forget anything about removing the constitution. Nobody is going to talk about that. We come back 2024 and we start shouting. Whoever is, of course, Buhari won't be there. The next person again know? will be victim. He, he can't be a third <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, know. You know, then we go back to the same balance. He has to go. Constitution, throw it away. That's it. I mean, <laughs> I'm just processing everything everyone is saying. And in my head... One thought that just comes to my mind is the fact that we lied to ourselves a lot. Mm. Yes. So, True. Um, True. There was that misconception in the past that I can live without politics. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can do well without being there. Yeah. I, I don't need a politician. Especially mm. if you are if you are relatively middle stable class. Mm. or you're middle class, you are like, okay, I'm good. I don't mm. need politics. Well, I think in the past years, we've come to understand that your politicians matter a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the quality of people that are brought forward... Um, to the presidential um, elections, gubernatorial, senatorial, all yeah. of those mm -hmm. categories of people. They matter a lot. Yeah. Uh, I was having this conversation with someone the other time. You realize that um, the people that eventually rise up to say they want to become um, a candidate for whatever party or whatever position are people that have been in this game for a long time. Yeah. Very true. Mm -hmm. And they probably started as dropouts. In fact, if you look mm -hmm. at it, look at the trend. They're mostly That's dropouts. True. And I, and because our constitution allows that with a high school certificate, I can I can context for any election. So it means that they actually, or they just need to prove that they went to a secondary school. They don't necessarily have the mental strength, the mental capacity to actually lead a country or lead a zone or mm -hmm. lead a community. But because 
there's that room for it. And we, the people that are, quote unquote, educated, yeah, enlightened, yeah. we've given them that room. We've succeeded in business, like you mentioned, mm. but we've not succeeded in politics. politics we've yeah. left politics to people that really don't have mm. the capacity. If you bring these people to business, they're going to run down the business. We know that. So we don't even employ them as um, um, entry staff, level. Yeah. <laughs> we don't even make them entry level. They don't qualify. Mm. So, and we know that because they cannot, mm. um, they cannot, mm. they cannot process, process yeah. the kind of things, mm. thoughts, and knowledge that is mm. required to mm. build a business. So why then have we left them to run our country? Well, before I come in, the irony of this is that you'll be shocked. Look at, okay, let's take it. Um, Edo State Governor is a successful businessman. Thank in you. Ogun State. Um, no, um, not, what's his name? Makinwa. Makinwa. Uh, no. Um, Even my mom. A lot of the governors. All of them, they're successful A lot of them are people. successful yeah. businessmen, yes. former MBA, yes, uh, former MBA of, lawyer, yes, and all, yes. um, chief whatever, MD, MBA in a general association, and all those people. Hmm. Yet they get there. And everything is messed up. Look at people because around they them. Exactly. They don't have the team. Look at people around and, them. And you, you and I, exactly. we should be the team. We are busy in tech and we are busy there saying, no, this government is useless. And exactly. we've been saying that for years. That's what I was saying. We've been saying the same thing for years. So it's not about one party. Because or it's, 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 it's doesn't, the yeah. system that we've created. And it doesn't, sorry, before you add, Victor, <laughs> it doesn't take one person exactly. to build That's the yeah. country mm. that we want. Mm. We That's need it. more than, and we need to stop this our Messiah mentality. Yeah. That's so, it. So yeah. we can build a better country. Mm. Mm. You know, I mean, I was just here sitting thinking of a counter job to throw at him. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to see that. <laughs> but, but the truth is, uh, this is my personal musings, right? Yeah. Random stuff. I, I just feel so sad that it's almost like we're letting nature take its course. Mm. In the next two decades, mm. or even less than that, some of these old guys will be gone. Will be gone. That's true. By virtue of decades, life, they're, they're going to die. I mean, you're going to die. This year. Right? So yeah. Yeah. it's almost like... Hmm. We are watching, exactly. waiting for that to happen for me to before we take. I told someone that Buhari plan, cool. Lots of people did all of this. You know, they seized power. And I'm not saying go do that. I'm just yeah, saying yeah. that. You need to be you know, active. What are we doing beyond tweeting yeah, exactly. and all of that? They are even using us as a strategy to tweet. <laughs> so I think it's, it's saddening to me that we're all just intellectually just, talking. Yeah. Well, we're just going to wait for another yeah. 10 years where if they Thank die you. off, then we're going to take over. That's Nobody wants to take that lead. Nobody wants to be doing But I think we're scared because Victor, blood has to go on Victor, the line for that. But you see, beyond blood, what is happening, I think, here is this. I think that we do not realize that we had a systemic in brain failure. Mm, you see, for point. 20 years and more, let's look at from when we're in primary school and secondary school. We had a period of time, so all those in their 40s and 50s now, went through a system of education that gave them academic skills, but actually not give them enough thinking yeah. skills, planning skills, life skills, mm. to be able to say, okay, where are you going to? Yeah. We naturally went through school and system of life in Nigeria, and maybe the most of Africa say, go to school, get an education, get a job. And, and, so now and, we're not taught how to fight for life, mm. how to fight for things. No, but the see, last fight in Nigeria was independence. No, 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 no. Apart from Biafra. We, we could go on and on on the fight, but we're not doing that deco. No, that's a different You know, if you want to go through the Nadeko era of the late 80s and 90s and, 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 and 90s and stuff then you know what it means to fight but root is next <laughs> stay with us <laughs>
Others would come up with first 100-day plans, which eventually we know will be forgotten once they get in. Some would show up with rice and beans and all manner of foodstuffs and money to lure unsuspecting, unthinking, and already victimized citizens. Gradually, partisan camps will begin to be formed, even in our neighborhoods and even families. The media will be bombarded with every form of articles and, pro and programs promoting a candidate or otherwise. Eventually, we will get a leader who may be a repeat of our past mistakes. Before we get there, let's take a step back in time and learn. Let's ask ourselves real and difficult questions, such as, why do we keep getting the same crop of leaders? What can we do differently? What political office matters most? Is it the senatorial office, the presidential office, gubernatorial, governor's office, or even the local government offices? What do we want from the next leaders? And so on. There are so many more questions to ask. Let's have these conversations in our homes. Let's have them in our neighborhoods, in our estates, communities, churches, mocks, offices, and every gathering you can think of, even at parties. We can't, think, we can't keep doing the same thing and expect different results. Let's ask ourselves the right questions. Afterwards, we can then ask the politicians the right questions. But let's not stop at questioning. Let the responses we get from these questions inform our selection of leaders in the upcoming elections for every political office. Remember that we have only this time to get it right. Let's not waste it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, when I was reading that, one thing came to mind that, you know, a lot of times we don't apply the same structure or methodology that we apply to our life to politics. Yeah. Um, we tend to give a lot of excuses in politics. Now, what, what do I mean? If a woman comes to you, a young lady comes to you and tells you that she's dated five guys who's promised her marriage, they've bought her a lot of the rings or they've made her a lot of the rings and she's kept the ring for two, three years. And each time, after two or three years, after a while, these guys break her heart. What would you tell the lady? Something's wrong with you. Exactly. So we bring about the same kind of leaders every year and we blame the leaders. Exactly. Not ourselves. What are we doing or what are we not doing that is making this kind of ideology fester? Those are questions. And I'm talking about the questions you've asked us to ask. Those are mm. questions we are not asking. We see people, I've heard people say, you see, we can't make it because the leaders are not giving us, make it, they're making it difficult for us. And I say, I agree. You see, it's a foolish person, I'm sorry to say, that will tell you everything is okay in Nigeria. No. So when you're saying, let's make a move, not that, oh, everything is easy. No. What I'm saying is, a lot of times when someone tells you, okay, she's a thought leader in addition to being a lawyer. Now you hear motivational leaders say that. The fact that your back you you were you were born on the ground or as that thing said doesn't mean your <laughs> no, back keep your back on the ground background you see, and all yeah, this yeah, you see, because your back, back is on ground. the ground and you don't have a background you don't have a good background and all those kind of things the fact that your father didn't send you to school doesn't mean you cannot make it yeah. look at other people that are making it listen the fact that our leaders are not giving us what we want they're not encouraging us to fight does not mean we should not fight mm. and i tell people that listen all this i don't i'm sorry i don't join people to blame I don't. Not because he's a perfect man, no. But you see, someone like him, I believe, should be studied in the university. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a man that fought mm -hmm. during the Nadeko era, came in 1999, and he's mm -hmm. been able to hold on to power till I date in a state like Lagos State, mm -hmm. where you have so many mad people. It's crazy. What mm -hmm. does he do right? Mm -hmm. So when people are saying, is one holding, no, no, no. If there's no legal. I was asking someone recently that which state in Nigeria has reached its full potential? Mm -hmm. No states. Yeah. Whether it's one man leading or mm -hmm. multiple men leading, they are all failing. So what I'm saying, mm -hmm. I'm coming back to you, I'm saying that at the end of it all, it is time for us to ask the right questions mm -hmm. and not give excuses of they will not allow us. These people mm -hmm. were not. There are people today. Someone was talking about but they you as in fighting Tinubu. There are people today that till date they would not be friends with him because he fought, and so many other people like that have fought. What are we doing in this generation? Mate, wow. I want him to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can see him. I want you to answer that. <laughs> <laughs>
I was looking at him. Like, too. I mean, is that what we do now? <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're doing that's now. That's how we roll now. <laughs> well, really, you know, I saw a tweet. Someone said that if Tinubu is going to come out, mm. if he selects a Muslim, he's going to not be able to deliver on the side of the Christians, and that's going to get him angry. Okay. If he selects a Christian, uh, a Christian he's going to, um, the Northerns are going to be angry. He's not going to deliver on that end. Mm. So someone said, how did we reduce the polity Honestly. to selecting? You don't see Obama oh and, God. you know, Joey, but they don't talk about that, yeah. you know. So, so look at what we're looking at. So that tells you that the polity has been reduced to rubbish. Someone is saying, if I select a Muslim or, but, but, but the truth is, let's not be fooled. We, you, don't, you don't win politics by motivation. I mean, I'm, this is not me throwing I mean, I'm just, yeah, yeah, it's, okay. it's strategy, yeah, right? Yeah, it's strategy. After motivation, you get up you get and up you have work. strategy of execution, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And just to come back to Annie's um, comment, what I said earlier, I mean, why are they giving them bags of rice, bags of beans, mm -hmm. all of those things? It's mm -hmm. always worked. Mm -hmm. If a strategy works, it will be, well, I mean, in business, you can't change yeah. what works. Change if bag of beans works mm -hmm. every year, I can't change it. If 1,000 naira works every yeah. year, yeah. and guess what? The guys that are receiving the bags of beans, they deliver the numbers. That's we it. don't deliver the numbers. That's That's it. It. We are tweeting. <laughs> so we are the That's ones. The so I can't, I can't get a bag of beans because I don't need it. But mm. the guys that need it, they are multiple mm. and, and and that's where the problem really is so if they keep using the strategy and it's working for many years they're going to start you know frying corn yeah. now and all <laughs> the things themselves and do you know what's happening it's worked mm -hmm. do you know what has so happened with, that, yeah, with that strategy mm -hmm. like i in recent times without even linking it to elections but just looking at because i've been really curious about how are we actually building the capacity of ourselves as a people mm. and you see that bag of rice strategy is very interesting to observe Let's go back to colonial, um, colonial days. And we realize that for the same, the same system of giving a handout or something Mirror to feed the belly, you get people and, out. Mm. And now look at it very well. Some people say that bag of rice and bag of beans and that, oh, they're giving you, what do they get out of it? And then we, the people who keep tweeting or who feel we went to school, mm. are actually not seeing what is being seen. Have you realized that from that system, from that lower crop of the bag of rice givers, they're building leaders? Well, at the local government level, they're into, in, have you gone to Lagos State Civil Service? Mm. Have you seen the people that are being empowered? <laughs> have you gone into space and see mm -hmm. how they're have you go around outside forget the I go true, to Mowe, go to Abuli Egba, go to Agege, mm. look at houses, look at the people. Wealth is being created in unprecedented numbers. That bag of rice is not a strategy, it's a strategy that's working because when those people deliver those things, they know that they are short of something. And by the time you need there was a saying that says when you need something from the leader, go to be friends with those in the kitchen. And when we're sitting down here feeling not very fancy, which is why, as motivational as it seemed that my initial advocacy was, the first line that was change your mindset. We're going to have to, and you mentioned strategy. I like the fact that Victor put it there. You see, you cannot take yourself out of a situation mm. without actually thinking, That's what is the root of this? A, a, a lot of, a mental work actually breaks you down. Sure. You, if you do proper mental work, you break down to the point where you see your life and say, emotional intelligence, <laughs> the first one of self-awareness. For a whole psychology, Dr. Goldman said, said the first thing in getting any change is to start to use EI to change life mm. and nations. And so, as Victor then said, honestly, that strategy works. But beyond that, there was something that um, Ruth, Ruth said, and I found it interesting. I said, oh, that, you know, a lot of people, their high school dropouts are cool. But I remember there was a time in my studying that I realized that informal native intelligence is sometimes even more crucial mm. than formal education so we have formally educated people who cannot think a lot of the formally educated people did they That's carry it in crown. drop it they're not Trump. even thinking people critical mm. thinking skills so those people that finish with high school alone are probably sometimes more intelligent than those of us with first degree masters a certification diploma everything together so maybe the system is for us that are thinking we know uh -huh. to go and study those people like like that means That's something is wrong with all of us we can never end this conversation honestly, around because. politics, changing our mindsets, and it's being able to at least honestly. prepare ourselves for the mm. upcoming elections. But I, like I said at the beginning of my presentation, it's important that we ask ourselves the right questions. Yeah. Yes. Once we do so, then we'll be able to at least make better change into the next mm. year. So up next Hopefully. is Victor. Stay tuned. Yeah. Twitter ban lifted. Should we really be grateful? If I sit back to think about it, the events that led to the ban of Twitter, it leaves me wondering who lied 
to us about being in democracy. Where is the freedom of speech that was promised us? This reminds me of the film Legend of the Seeker, where one man called Dokken Rao controlled everyone within his jurisdiction. Can our leaders be humble enough to admit their unguardedness and misguided actions? Can our leaders be humble enough to accept that the highest office in the nation is the office of the citizens? Several businesses had already been hit by the COVID. The Twitter ban came as a corresponding blow. They asked that we contribute to the socio-economic development, yet they shut us out from one tool of effectiveness that facilitated this development. The Twitter ban has been lifted after 223 days or even more. Oh yeah, we should be jumping in jubilation because our fundamental right to speech has now been restored. Who knows for how long though? This leaves me asking two critical questions. One, what was the essence of the ban? Two, why was the ban lifted even at this awkward time? Elections are close by. Are you seriously thinking what I could already be thinking about? Victor, did you have to say it out loud? No, we're all thinking. Of course. But of course, I mean, like, of really. Of course, that's exactly, that's exactly what it is. In the end, but the to answer your first question, do you know there's something about the laws of power? When you have the power to do something, to punish some people, to just show that I can do what I'm going to do. Hmm. You know how they just say, so I feel, I mean, to answer that, but the second one, obviously, Twitter is such a powerful tool. And Twitter advocates like all of you sitting here, minus me, uh, that are ready to jump yourself. on. <laughs> and people like, so there are really a lot of PR campaigns, social media campaigns, everything, and they already know yeah. what else are you going to use? How mm. do you want to get it done? And then how do you buy goodwill? So now they're going to give you, they, you are not getting bag of rice, you don't need it. You don't need Gary Abi. You need So Twitter is your own, take it and be happy. Mm. Mm. But for, uh, see, the Twitter thing for me, I look at it from different angles. Let me take it from the most, uh, should I say positive one or negative one so that I can have all your buying. <laughs> Before I come to what I it's another part though. of it. <laughs> now, Twitter ban. The way I feel. Okay, let me let me just get in. I feel now. I feel that Twitter itself or social media itself needs to be regulated. Personally, I feel Twitter needs to be cautioned because the kind of care and caution they bring to bear in other countries, they leave it out when it comes to a lot of African countries. In terms of plan, I mean, you know, uh, muting this and you know what they flag and all that stuff. Facebook does it better for Africa than they do. So I feel that yes, they need it. But do we need seven months to prove this? No. Do we even need to ban for a week? No. There are other things we could have done to call their attention, and definitely not be not immediately after the the president's speech was pulled down. That one is a no no. However, what pisses me off in all this is that. And it dovetails into what we're talking about, having the strength, the resilience, mm. being open-minded. Listen, I can bet almost everything I have on it that in a country like China, India, even America, if uh, a platform as big as Twitter were to be banned, by now, you would have had alternative platform created by the indigenous of those countries. Wasn't to Kari prove created? two things. To what? Wasn't Kari created? Yeah, Kari. No, but no. That. <laughs> to prove that, listen, one, you cannot stifle us. We have the power. We are the Gen Z, like we say. Mm. We, we've done NSAs like nobody has ever done in the history of Nigeria. We are supposed to prove it with that. Number two, it's supposed to be an, an opportunity for people to now rake in funds. That, ah, this space, let me buy it, quickly lash into it. If you say Kauri or whatever was created, mm -hmm. how much impact has it made? How many people have known about it? Pulled it down by ourselves now. People pulled it down by themselves. Exactly. But I think that, 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 that one has a different. That one has a different. That was maybe sarcastic. That was a difference. Please do not imagine that Kauri was an alternative. It wasn't a sarcastic comment. So in a nutshell, what I'm saying is that, yes, government has done the undoable. What should not have been done, mm. but as a people, and that's what part of the thing that is still affect, affecting us in politics. Mm. Sorry, I'm bringing it back to politics because people. this is how we sit down, mm -hmm. even where we have power and watch things. Imagine the a youth or some group of guys just came out and said uh, they want to come up with something, chat, soros, okay, and a new 
a social media platform is born with the same kind of ideology as Twitter filling up that space. Do you think government will be able to ban it? No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. 100%. Yes. 100%. No. Yes. In fact, they will ban it more. No. They will ban it. They will ban it. They will remove it. I mean, it takes a while. Even if they ban it, they will come and arrest you. Even if they ban it, the truth is that change and revolutions don't come with the first attempt. Of course. What I really feel is that I guess we really, really, at the end of the day, everything we have discussed, we have the same thread. We are just not ready and we're not strategic and we're not just thinking. You know how that immediate comfort, mass mm. hierarchy of needs I mentioned? Yeah. That, those that are thinking and are smart have taken that, that, that hierarchy of needs and they have used it as a tool against us and we are there. Exactly. We are sitting there. We, we are there. not making a new I, 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 com I completely <laughs> agree like this with what <laughs> you said about <laughs> that. He has one arrow for me. I completely agree with what you said I don't know why I'm not sitting close to you. <laughs> in terms of the fact that you mentioned that change and revolution does not come with first attempts, mm. completely true. But would a, an alternative platform created by the Nigerian that serves well, the so, so, so mm -hmm. purpose mm -hmm. be banned? As at as at way the quality is right now. Yes. Banned. yes. No, what, but it's not even banned. It's not even only just banned. Okay. No, what it's was was, was and, Facebook banned? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Chill. It's been banned, mm -hmm. and the people would have been arrested. But is that is now is now where the resilience comes in? Yes. Would other people come up. So the question now is how would how how ready how ready are we? To, to even keep challenge on pushing the system, exactly. the system you know I mean? I guess, until the system exactly. gets tired of us. When affecting change, there's a, there's a concept called power dynamics, mm -hmm. and if you can't win on that, for, I mean, very if I'm getting true. this wall, very the true. wall is the wall. There's nothing you can do about it. That's so true. I think there's no need to keep doing the same thing, the same. Story. Let me keep pushing. You know, mm. someone says something. One day I will make it. You might never make it. Very <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> you might never make it. Really? Really? One day you make it. You might never make it. Very true. So I don't believe in one day I will just make it. You will never make it if you don't. Don't ever say that. I don't think. 2022 you know, will be exactly the same as 2021 if you do not get out of your comfort zone yeah. or change things. Well, so, so. you know, for me, on this Twitter ban, I guess the same conversation is um, why now? Obviously, it's obvious. Yeah, I mean, why it's now? It's obvious. Why right? Now? <laughs> but would businesses that have suffered the effect of Twitter recover? Is this an opportunity for them to recover? Or do we need to do something better? I think we need to do something better. To become a better business. Now I'm thinking yeah. as a business person mm -hmm. right as now because mm -hmm. yes. it it just it's the, it transcends politi politics. It, yeah. it has to involve with other things, even social issues mm. as well. So, <sighs> <laughs> I, well, I guess maybe the, the the whole Twitter conversation, especially linked to business, has just shown us one of the rules of life that mm. you can't put all your eggs in one basket. You know when we did that, it was such a simple comment in primary school. But the reality is that. And as businesses, we need to also go beyond being pedestrian in how we execute anything. Mm, because true. if your business, yes, sad, it got afflicted by a Twitter ban. But is that all? Isn't there more? I couldn't you have, can't you? If you have to learn to diversify. evolve and be di diversify and be dynamic. Mm. There's a lot to it. Honestly, Nigerian people, let's not talk about this Twitter ban. Well, Mickey, you may have getting angry now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's one thing that we have generated from these conversations is that we need to start re-engineering our thought process. Don't just sit down there. You need to get up and do something no matter how little. We've come to the end of this week's episode of The Advocate. American politician Patrick Murphy said the political process does not end on election day. Young people need to stay involved in the process by continuing to pay attention to the conversation and holding their leaders accountable for the decisions they make. The advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, and on Instagram, at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the advocate NG. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time on this station, let us keep advocating for a better society.